Hello, I'm Brian from BCTI, and if you're a viewer of this channel, you can probably already tell that this video is going to be a little bit different from all of my other videos. The reason being is this video is about a hardware problem, not a software problem. The hardware problem specifically has to deal with these guys, inkjet printers. Over the years, my needs for printing have dropped dramatically, but every now and then, I do need to print something. The problem is, if I don't use this inkjet printer often enough, the print heads will dry, clog up, I have to go through the entire cleaning process, and sometimes that cleaning process wastes so much ink that I end up burning through half a cartridge just to get the thing working again. So what I wanted to do is figure out a way to keep the print heads from getting clogged. And I thought, well, if you just print a test page every few days, that will essentially keep the, the blood flowing through the system and it won't clog. But I'm forgetful sometimes and I might not remember to print that test page every few days. So I wanted to come up with a way to automate this entire process. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a nozzle cleaning test print we're going to store it in a folder on our computer and then set up a task schedule that says, hey, every three days or whatever interval you want to come up with, print that file. So this way we can send that print job to the printer, keep the ink flowing, keep the nozzles from getting clogged, and that way whenever we need to use it, it's just ready to go. Here's an overview of what we're about to do. We have our printer, and when you print from Windows, that print job goes to a special folder called a spool folder. It's a staging area. In case the printer is occupied, it will wait until the printer is free, and then the job gets forwarded onto the printer. What we're going to do is put a block on the output of that folder. This way, when we generate a print job, it gets sent to the spool folder, and then goes no further. Next we will create a folder somewhere on our computer and then go into the spool folder and copy those files into this user created folder. It's from this folder where we set up a scheduled task and that scheduled task says hey go to this particular folder and send that job to the actual printer. So when the task is triggered the print jobs in that folder are actually sent to the printer. Unlike the spool folder, these files will not be deleted from the user created folder. This way the scheduled task can just keep repeatedly printing that particular print job as many times as you like. Our first step is to create a shared version of our physical printer. We'll go down to start and type in print and choose printers and scanners. From here I can see my printer, the Canon TS9000 series. That's the logical representation of the physical printer. What we have to do is create a shared version of that logical printer because the command we're going to use needs to talk to a shared object, not the object itself. Let's click on the Canon printer. We'll go down to Printer Properties and on the Sharing tab, we'll choose Share This Printer and then give it a name, something that you can remember. I'll call mine Canon Clean. Hit OK. Next, we'll create a folder to store the captured print job from the spool folder. So we'll create a new folder, and you can call this anything you want. Let's go into that folder, and currently there's nothing in it. Back in the printers and scanners section, we need to pause the printer. We'll go down to additional printer settings, and for printing, we'll click the pause button. Just so we can see what's happening behind the scenes, if you want to open up another file explorer window, we'll navigate to the C drive, Windows folder, System32, Spool, Printers. And you can see in here this folder is currently empty because I have no print jobs. Placing the printer settings and the spool folder side by side, we need to generate a print job that executes the nozzle cleaning process. You don't want to just print a regular test page because a Windows test page may not utilize all the available ink colors. So using your printer's driver software, we'll go down to Printing Preferences. So this is Canon's print settings dialog box, not Windows. Now your settings will obviously differ from mine because it's all based on make and model, but for mine I'm going to go to maintenance and then click this button that says nozzle check. And then I'll choose print check pattern. Notice that those print jobs went into the spool folder and then were stopped. So this process has been halted. I'll go ahead and dismiss this message. And we need to take those two files that were placed in the spool folder the .spl and the .shd files. Before I officially cancel this process, and canceling it would delete those files, I'm going to go into this folder, I will copy those files, go into my printer test page folder, and paste them. 
And if you don't like the names of these files, you can rename them. Just make sure you name them the same thing. Back in the spool folder for printers, I'm going to cancel this print routine, which will automatically delete those files. We'll close this dialog box, and now I can close the maintenance window for that printer. Our next step is to create a file that contains the instructions that tells our scheduler to know where to go to get the files and where to send them. So I'll go up to New, and we'll create a text document. And you can call this file anything you like. Let's open that text document. Here are the three commands we need to place into this text file. The first command creates a fake printer connection to the shared printer we created earlier called Canon Clean. The second instruction will then go into the location of your folder and grab the SPL file that you captured from the spool file. The copy command will then send that to the virtual printer we created in the previous step. Lastly, we delete that connection to that fake printer. With these commands entered and configured, we'll go up to File, Save, and close this file. Now here's the catch. You can't schedule a text file to execute commands. We have to do that through what's called a batch file. So on this file, we'll right click and choose rename, and we're going to change the extension from .txt to .bat. So instead of a text file, it's a batch file, and we will say yes, we want to do this. It is critical that you rename that from .txt to .bat, or none of this will work. Our final step in the setup process is to create the scheduled task. We'll go to the Start button and type in the word Task and open the Task Scheduler. In the upper left corner where it says Task Scheduler Library, we're going to right click and create a basic task. We'll give this basic task a name and then you can give it a description if you like. We'll click Next. We want this to run daily. Click Next again and we're going to have it execute every three days. And you can adjust this interval to whatever seems necessary for your printer. You can also set the date and the time that you want this routine to begin. So I'll go ahead and have this start tomorrow at midnight, and it will run every three days. Click Next. What do you want to happen every three days? I want it to start a program. We'll click Next. Here's where we go out and browse to the file we created in Notepad just a moment ago. To point to that batch file that we created earlier, let's go to Browse, and navigate to the folder that contains the batch file. In my case, cleanme.bat. I'll hit Open. Next. Lastly, we have a summary of our choices, and then we'll click Finish. I can see in my task scheduler library my print nozzle maintenance routine. I don't have to wait till tomorrow at midnight to see if this is going to work because I can force this task to execute immediately. And I can do that by right clicking on the task and choosing run. Let's check in on our printer webcam. Notice it's having a nice little sleep. I'll choose run. And now it wakes up and prints the test file. Now you know how to set up a scheduled print maintenance routine for your inkjet printer so the ink won't dry out and clog up the print heads. If you've got any kind of technique you have to use for your specific model of printer that may have differed from the way I did mine, put it down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. So thanks for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.